And kahit actually yung mga nasabi ko tungkol sa lineup ng next play Evos. Uh, theoretically, sinasagot 'yun ng mga ng Benedetta. Tingnan mo, sa next play Evos ang daming crowd control. Eye for an eye can help you avoid that. Bago mapili yung Benedetta RSG Philippines dahil sa sobrang daming crowd control ng next play Evos, baka mahirapan sila hulihin yung Kimi ni Donut. So, now that they have a Benedetta, meron silang mabilis na pang-access sa Kimi. But and even the E potentially pero si Light oh wait a minute Light Ooh, no. goes down before the first blood going to John Paul Salonga in our H2O gonna try another kill here and men wala pang isang minuto nahanap agad nila si Light grabe hinahanap talaga nila dito si Light knowing what he can do to set up parang ganito rin yung umpisa ng game number one natin si Cadenza na sa harap ng ano ni Demon Kite sa, sa orange buff Wait, uh, that he he basically dashed out, pero na burn pa rin niya ang flicker niya. So light has no flicker right now for that turtle oh. fight as well. 30 seconds. It's going to be a good edge for next play Evos if they could capitalize. RSG Philippines, feeling ko ang gameplay na nila dito kailangan pa bagale nila ng konte. Cause that was really fast coming in from next play Evos. Yeah, and next play Evos still a lot of pressure. By Cadenza. Oh, Oreshi! Has been slain. Bah. Oreshi, not uh, respecting the damage coming in from Demon Kai. Phantom execution, dashing the Phantom Smash as well. H Two wow, not landing thorn throws. At ay nga Demon Kai and hit pins. Kakabawi sila sa early game pickoffs pero nakita mo sa positioning ng next play Evo sa Special League Cadenza. Madami talaga silang ano, focus binibigay sa gold lane. Gusto nila i-shut down si Akno at gusto nila pa bilis ulit ang farm ni Donut. Seeing as how having a well-farmed Kimi going to the mid game, uh, mahirapan ang RSG doon especially if ever Demon kahit hindi niya maabutan si Donut. I'm pretty sure at one point makaga Ice Queen 1 siya para lang ma kait niya si Demon Kai. Uh, that that's nice, no. Pero <laughs> next lane, Evos <laughs> rotating top lane. Nagarot na play dito sa kadensa pero wala siyang na balibag. And NXPE, they are forced to back out dahil sa hindi kumana ng engage na yon. Perfect example. Just what I said earlier. Kung bakit Ruby could be one of the options that they can pick um, to stop. The Jawhead, if ever Jawhead, ulit piliin ang ng next play Evos. Tinamang bilis ni Light na pag-interrupt sa pag-ejector toss sa kanya. Inactivate ni Light yung second skill ng Ruby, Don't Run Wolfing, Ecot, which can, you know, which does have that crowd, crowd control capability. At nahinto niya yung bato. And he stopped it again there. RSG Philippines, even na ang kill score. In fact, nakalabang na nga sila ng gold pero hindi pa naman ganun kalaki actually wala pang isang libo now RSG Philippines going to rotate around this turtle area demon kite na matahan ni H2 30 seconds bago tumabas ang sunod na turtle pero magbabuff ata muna ang ating mga junglers so both teams right now will just try to get that positioning first pero hindi talaga umalis sila dito dun sa gold lane meanwhile the bottom lane matchup of Kenji and Oreshi, yan talaga yung dead lane natin ngayon. And it will be a question of if RSG Philippines at some point will try to make a play for this bottom lane because hindi nila pwede pabayaan yung Edith na yan. Alam, sobrang familiar na tayo sa playstyle ni Edith. I'm sure we've seen her a lot in our ranked games and of course, makita din natin siya dito in action here. So RSG Philippines, we'll hope for this turtle. Electo final blow and the retribution, securing the second turtle of the game for RSG Philippines. Dito siguro nila nakukuha ang kanyang kalamangan, pero sagot ng next play Evo, sige, burahin na lang natin ang isang tori dito. RSG, medyo too late na para mag-defend. Hard focus talaga sa lane ni Iyakno. And once again, oh, stop. There we go. See? Grabe, yeah, tama ka nga doon. Yung natin don't run wolf king. Yep. Sobrang malaking bagay. But now, RSG Philippines, uh, they need to shut down that Kimi at some point dahil ang bilis, dami niya nakuhang farm. And at the same time, they need to protect Iyakno na para makapag-farm siya at makahabol siya. 
and RSG Philippines. I feel like they did steal away that orange buff from H2O. And that is a, quite a massive steal, especially early on. Na wala pa kayo masyadong kalamangan. Na Ureshi looks to be in trouble. Three people from RSG Philippines magpo-push. Ma uh, de 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 kaya ni Ureshi to. Eh, just a free to RSG Philippines. Oh, H2 versus Demon Kite. Demon Kite. Hindi siya lang gigil. Hindi niya hinabal si H2. Good call there. Even though napabahan niya si H2. 50% light with the M3! Oh, and RSG Philippines. Hindi sila nakuha ng kill. Blue team hero has been oh, played. pero si Kenji nakuha ng kill doon kay Eve. Bad of execution, Kenji! He goes played. down no, from H2. And now, RSG Philippines, they're still ahead. But just for 1.2k, men, well, RSG Philippines, they forced the engagement of the mid lane. Light, conceal play. Pero baka mag-take off na naman dito si Cadenza. Oh, Cadenza. Pinato, pabalik. At nakapag-ulti pa nga mag-feather nair. Strike finish yung si Mo. Kumores, he's still alive. He's too very low HP. Ay, wala. Nasta ni Iacno. And a double kill for the gold slayer of RSG Philippines. A triple kill pa nga para kay Josh Wilmanao. Parang ka... Sabi ni Yakno, kahapon pa ako nahirapan dito ah. Binabasag niyo yung tori ko, hindi ako nakakapag-farm na maayos. Sige nga, mag-triple kill na ako para mag na ako. And that is it. You awake and look at Demon Kite. Oh my God. This is Lord King Demon Kite. Oh my God. This is Lord King Demon Kite. 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 This Third, third ten na nga. Mapupunta din sa RSG. Paano kaya makakabawi ang next play EVOs dito, Renmar? Red team has slain the turtle. Well, the thing with next play EVOs is dahil yung early game lead went to them. Pero masyado malaki yung gold swing ng RSG PH. Next play EVOs just need to slow it down. Ice Queen 1 pa lang na pili dito ni, ah, uh, nabuo dito ni Haze. Di pa nga nakapagbuo dito ng item din si H. Uh, well, he does have the war axe. Uh, I have to go uh, rather. So, next play Evos. You have to slow things down a little bit and now respect that light will make things hard for Cadenza. Like that! Yep, Cadenza half HP. Pero hindi naman siya babagsak. Torn apart memory ginamit. Pero wala naman masyadong magagawa. RSG Philippines. Parang pinapatikim nila ngayon kay Cadenza kung ano yung ginawa ni Cadenza sa kanila nung game 1. Oh, na nagalit na din si Light dito. And now for RSG Philippines, uh, dahil meron nga sila ang Benedetta, they can use the space, the map spacing na binibigay ng Benedetta, maximize the movement speed para ma makapag split push kayo. But then RSG Philippines have to respect the Edith and the Kimi as well. Ang daming range at poke damage ng NXPE. Pero ito ang RSG. Oh, nahinto ni, ano, ni Hayes. Cadenza looking for the conceal play. Nahihila pa pala. Green word manipulation. Here comes the squid game. A double earth shatter coming in from Ureshi. Pero pumasok sa likod si Demon Kite. Kailangan makapag-dash pala yun. KMG medyo malalim. Here comes the ultimates coming in from next play Evos. Pero ayaw na nilang nabanan pa. The flicker play coming in from Ureshi. Binigla pa sa bigla. And RSG Philippines, they lose out one. That was a good play now for next play Evos. One for one trade, pero at the end of the day, RSG Philippines na nakuha nila yung or next play Evos na kuha nila si Iyakno at wala lang sa next play Evos. I see Cadenza, so it's a roam your tank para sa gold laner. Masaya na masaya ang next play Evos doon. Resi, look at that good play, flicker forward, getting the charge, so he can get for the toss. Great play by next play Evos to go after Iyakno. Oh, ganda ng duel din ni H to Demon Dead doon. Ang, ang, ang saya pa ng Oren ng mga 1v1 ni H2 and Demon Kite para talagang mga anime sword battle yung mga biglang nawawala tapos biglang nagdadash men, yun yung mga may nag-uusap pa sila sa mga utak nila eh, yung nagkakaintindihan sila dahil sa mga labanan nila ng mga skill shots doon pero syempre tigil muna sa anime napakalupit ng RSG at Next Play Evos this game kita mo talagang pag sumapak yung isa sasapak pabalik yung isa yeah, and now for next play, it was um med slightly favoring the lineup of RSG Philippines in the late game. Dahil nga sa far sa nila mahirapan maka lumapit si Donut. Of course, yung maximum charge, yung longest range ability na isang Kimi. But then at the same time, you want to maximize the increased at enhanced basic attacks na nakukuha niya. Uh, but the fact that they have the Farsa, they have so many things to 
give the Kimi a hard time sa mga team fights. They have light, pero yung trabaho niya is hindi lang mabato o walang mababato sa site ng RSG Philippines. So far, we've seen him perfectly timing the second skill para mahinto si Cadenza. Uh, next play, Evos have to do a lot of work here sa late game para madepensahan nila ang laro na to and to win game number two. But it's both, it's very winnable for both sides. Pero ngayon, lamang lang talaga ang RSG Philippines. And medyo na nakaw na nga mga purple and orange buffs nito ng H2. Delikado siya. Phantom Execution still available to take. Pero mukhang makapuncture muna siya. Patayo! Healing Spring! Para kay Benedetta. Koreshi, papasok muli. Demon Guy with the place. And he's gonna steal away the purple buff. That is a great rotation coming in from RSG Philippines. And a great adjustment overall. Nakita natin. Sobrang ibang RG nakita natin dito sa game. So, ang sakit na ng damage ni Aqua. 50% pawa sa Kimi. Always lang. Nako, pumagsak na ang ipit. Nasa likod si Demon Kai. Mukhang nagkamali ng konti. Pero turret shots lang naman ang kinain. Pumagsak si Oreshi sa laban na yun. Oh. This ruby pick. Oy, si Genji pumasok. Genji, nice initiation with the split split, pero medyo malalim ata. They're gonna go for the third instead. Pagsak na ang inhibitor turret in the mid lane. Immediate rotation into the top side. And that inhibitor turret goes down as well. Hindi makakahanap ang next play Evos ng sagot sa rotation na ginawa ng RSG Philippines. Good play there by Kenji, entering the base of next play Evos para ma-zone out lang konti sila Ace at Cadenza doon. And then... Same time, great placement of the Feathered Airstrike. Galing kay Aqua. Feathered Airstrike forces the flicker out of Oreshi. Pero si Cadenza nahat ng isa. Nakatuhog si H2 kay Light. Hinahanap niya ngayon si Kenji. Torn Dross. Puncture still available to Chief State. Hindi inak para buwain siya. That is one kill. Go to the next day, Evo. Pero nahanap niya muli si Cadenza. Demon Kite with the dashes, with the slashes. Hindi makakaharap ng isa. That is a one kill. Trade off going to next day, Evo. Next play Evos, kung gusto nila maka-comeback, yun yung mga opportunities na hanapin nila, yung mga pick-off na ganun. Then right after that, disengage or reposition. They have to play it safe. Magda 9,000 na ang goal dito ng RSG Philippines. Meanwhile, for RSG, they just have to keep it up. Uh, that trade was, it was okay. Uh, it was just Kenji. But they still have to respect the fact that next play Evos might be able to come back here. RSG Philippines so far. Playing really well, positioning ni Aqua, positioning ni Light. They know what they need to do in their team fights. And now the Lord is up. This is the first luminous Lord of the game. A massive tour for an RSG and next play Evos. And looking at the gold lead, no, medyo malaki na ang gold lead ng RSG Philippines because of the past few times na nakakanakaw talaga sila ng objectives from next play Evos. This could possibly be RSG Philippines controlling the Lord area. But we've seen 10k comebacks happen. Let's see if Cadenza and the squad could actually do it. Hindi tumama ang I'm offended ni Ruby. That could have been a big play for RSG Philippines. Yeah, but for Light, he should be happy na hindi na ba to si Aqua or any other member of RSG Philippines. And that's what this Ruby needs to do. Cadenza, mega to, sumabog, mega kill para dito kay Demon Kite, half HP on this sword, H2, umahanap ng angulo pang steel, o Reshi, buhay pa rin, H2, medyo in range, pero yung damage ng Alexo, final blow ang tatapos sa kanina, Phantom Execution, hindi siya maliligtas, babalik sa lord ng RSG Philippines, pero pag doon na bumagsak para sa next day, Evos, and that is a lord secured by the Farsa, ahanapin na si Apple Fisha, si Donut, Mario Stan, Demon Kite, Nasa likod na, Apple Pisha na ata ang hinahanap pero punta mo na tayo kay Kenji ng saglit, no? Alekta final blow for the exit, RSG Philippines, securing the kills, securing the Lord. Uh, pero because of that attempt at the chase at sobrang bilis lumakad at lumabas yung Lord, RSG Philippines will be sad about that. Uh, sobrang tagal ng Lord fight na yun, it just so happens to be nakuha yung Lord exactly at the right time kung saan nag-respawn yung minion waves or lumabas yung minion waves so mabilis din lumabas yung lord pero at least isang tore na lang naiiwan dito para sa next play Evos susubo ng RSG tapusin ng laro na to pero mukhang mahirap 
Better there, second and a full man full. Coming in from light, nagalit ng last game men. And si Oreshi babagsak with forward part memory. Dalawa na ang wala sa niche. The Evos tatlo ang magdedepensa. Laban sa lima ng RSG. Immortality is there for light. Immortality na rin para kay Demon Kai. Si Donut susubukang sunukin ang mga Little Blue. H2O going in with a Phantom Execution Thorn Draws. Mga kapag-puncture pala yun. Next to fight. Next to sobrang taas ang bago sa Demon Kai. Monster kill. And this is a 1-1 kill. A 1-1 city score. RC Philippines takes in number 2. Kudos! To RSG Philippines for the draft adjustment, the pick adjustment.